We're going to turn now to yet another strike that's underway, this one in New York City, where a group of taxi drivers are launching a hunger strike today, demanding the city enact debt relief for thousands of drivers who've been devastated by massive debt, accrued largely due to the artificially inflated cost of taxi medallions. This comes after taxi drivers held a 30-day, round-the-clock protest outside City Hall. Drivers have also been denouncing the mental health impacts triggered by the financial ruin. At least at least nine drivers have died by suicide. This is striking New York City taxi driver Richard Chow speaking Tuesday to Democracy Now. I'm driving for the Yellow Cab for 16 years. Uh, I'm fighting for this hunger strike. This is very important for us because uh, we are fighting for not only for my reduce my my loan. We are fighting for the 6,000 medallion owner uh, devastating. We struggling the financial hardship. We lost everything because of the the CDs and necklace as the CD program and the TSC program is not happens up because we are under under the water so many years. So we are fighting for this crisis. Uh, so we can save the six thousand medallion owner and plus their family. We can survive. So this. We are, my brother will commit a suicide, nine drivers will commit suicide. Because this fight is very important for us. I don't like, I don't want to see another driver commit a suicide like my brother Kenny Chow. That's why we must win this fight and we can, we can survive. For more, we're joined by Bhairavi Desai, the executive director and founding member of the New York Taxi Workers Alliance, the union that represents thousands of taxi drivers in New York City. Bhairavi, welcome back to Democracy Now! Can you talk about the dire situation faced by taxi drivers in New York? Uh, it's just been really devastating. I mean, we've had nine driver suicides. And at this point where drivers have an average debt of $550,000, the city is basically no solution. They've come out with what's really just a cash bailout to the banks with no real relief for the drivers. Thousands and thousands of families are going to be left in a debt that it will be beyond their lifetime, and they'll be earning below minimum wage just to pay it off. And Barry, I'm wondering if you could talk about the uh, how the crisis got to this uh, this spot where basically at, at one point, I think under the Bloomberg administration, they were selling, uh, they were auctioning medallions at a million, uh, more than a million dollars each. Uh, how, how was it that, they, uh, that this huge debt uh, piled up on so many uh, taxi drivers? Yes, yeah, so the city of New York issues the medallions, and the medallions are just the number you see on top of the cab. They are the permit that allow yellow cabs to have exclusive street hail rights across New York City. The Taxi and Limousine Commission sets what's called the opening bid when they auction off new medallions. 2013, they set that opening bid at $850,000. This crisis really, the scandal really goes back to several years now. Um, after 9-11 and the economic impact, the Bloomberg administration started to auction off medallions to raise revenue for the city. In the process, they raised over $855 million off the backs of the drivers. Seven government agencies noted that the city inflated the value of the medallion. The Taxi and Limousine Commission did direct mailings and advertising campaigns to almost, you know, predominantly immigrant driver workforce. Um, and then the same officials allowed in Uber and Lyft without regulations, which really crashed the market. And so between 2011 and 2019, drivers um, adjusted for inflation saw a decrease of 44 percent of their earnings. Meanwhile, these expenses have remained completely fixed. And so that's why they are in such deep underwater. This is day 31 that we've been out on the streets, a 24-7 protest, but we've yet to hear from our mayor.
Now, the, the mayor, uh, Mayor de Blasio, had much support from the taxi and limousine industry when he ran for mayor, and but he promised to try to resolve uh, uh, the crisis facing the yellow cab driver. What's he actually done? Well, you know, it took three years for this city to pass what's called a cap on the number of vehicles, because we all know that central part of Uber and Lyft's business model has been to flood the streets with cars. By the time the vehicle cap was passed, there were already more than 80,000 vehicles on the road. And then today, when there's an average debt of $550,000, the mayor had tasked his taxi commission to come out with a program. And all they could do was come out with a $20,000 grant program where, according to their own rules and regulations, the banks and private equity firms could even charge as much as $2,000 a month to a driver, leave drivers at even $500,000 in debt you know, there's no solution. And the second part of their proposal is a $9,000 subsidy, you know, because they themselves know that they're leaving drivers. It's a setup for failure where drivers are not going to be able to pay off these debts. And so they're agreeing to subsidize drivers' payments for a year. We're not looking for subsidies. We're looking for real relief so people can get on with their lives. I mean, Besides the suicides, we have seen so many members that have died an early death and so many drivers that have had strokes that are now permanently paralyzed. I mean, widows of drivers who are retired and, you know, thought that they left behind an asset now have a payment that's even more than their Social Security monthly income. I mean, this is, a, this is a dire crisis of poverty. We have a solution that's been endorsed by the Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, the entire New York City congressional delegation, over 70 state and city elected officials, and popular support you know, across the city among New Yorkers. And yet the mayor is not even meeting us at the table to discuss a proposal that will cost the city of New York less than $3 million a year. Mind you, the city has a budget of an annual $100 billion. They took $850 million off the backs of the drivers. Our proposal will cost the city less than $3 million to bring our people out of poverty and a debt beyond their lifetime. Myra v, the very, very quickly, m many people may see this as the New York taxi drivers versus the Uber and Lyft drivers. Um, maybe it's versus Uber and Lyft. But actually, the, dr the number of Uber and Lyft drivers are in solidarity. Is that right? Absolutely. We, during our 24-hour camp, many of our Uber and Lyft members have come out, stood in solidarity. Some have even stayed overnight during the late-hour shifts. This is a worker issue. This is a labor issue. Fundamentally, this is also an issue of democracy, where City Hall, we've been camped outside the gates of City Hall. They haven't even had the decency to come and speak to us, even though the city is centrally responsible for this crashing crisis.